it's critical that we keep our attention on marketing because marketing is what grows the business. It's what brings in the revenue and what allows us to have a greater impact on our prospects, our customers, and our community at large. And it's what allows us to really fulfill our purpose as a business owner. When you're looking at creating your marketing plan, it could be helpful to look at those who've been the master marketers throughout history. And if we look at all of the movements that have been created, we see that they all have three very powerful things in common. One, a big idea is really what your business is all about. And more particularly, it's what makes your business unique. It's what you can bring to the world through your business that nobody else can bring, at least the way that you do it. The second thing is that clear message. You need a way to communicate the value that you provide to your customers and prospects in a way that they get it very clearly. Something that uses the words that they would use and helps them to realize that you have a solution to a problem that they're dealing with. And the third thing is an army of advocates for the cause. These are your evangelists. You need to figure out a way to get people talking about what you provide in a way that will help others to want to do business with you as well. Marketing really is about helping to people to know you better, to like you better, and to get them to trust you better. In order to communicate that really well, what's important to understand is what are people looking for? What are the words that they're using when they describe the problems that they have? If you can find a match between those words that they use and the words that you use to describe what you provide, you'll have a match. Sit down and interview some prospects or some customers of your own and say, what problems were you facing? What were the solutions that you were looking for? Or what solution could we provide that would make you want to do business with us? And they will give you the key words that you need to use in your communication strategy. Money follows value. What that means is that your prospects will spend money where they feel they're getting a value in return. One, you need to have a product or service that actually solves a problem that people are willing to pay for. So examine what you're offering and consider the ways that it helps solve a problem that people are facing. And then two, to go beyond being the best kept secret in town, you need to find ways to communicate the value that you provide to your prospects. Help people to overcome the objections and the fear that they have to spending their hard earned dollars with you and your business. You know, social media is not a magic bullet, but if we remember one very basic rule, we'll be very successful. It's important to be on social media because that's where your prospects are. Keep in mind that people don't go on to Facebook or Twitter or any other social media site in order to be sold to. They go there to maintain relationships with their friend, to find new meaningful and valuable information, or just to be entertained. It's important that when we look at the content that we're providing on social media, that we're doing it in a way that isn't obtrusive, that people feel natural with it and it provides value to them, that they may consume it and may even want to share it. There really are also two channels that we can work with. One is the organic side. This is the maintaining your Facebook page and your Twitter account. That's the community management that you may do yourself or hire a company to do. Um, and that's maintaining relationships and providing valuable content. On the other side, it's the paid advertising component where we're choosing to run ads to targeted people who may be interested in our product or service. In either case, remember, nobody likes being sold to. And if you can lead with value first and earn the right to do business with people, they will choose to spend their hard-earned dollars with you instead of someone else.